Hi Pisces, welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Pisces sun, moon, or rising. And as always, welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with a Pisces and the message could be for you. So feel free to take it however it resonates with you in your situation. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings. If you guys are wanting to book a one-on-one, -on -one, my website information is down below in the description box. Just go ahead and subscribe your email there. That way you'll always get an email notification every time my availability opens up. And as always, thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing. Thank you for all the ways that you've supported the channel. And let's dive in, Pisces. Okay, interesting. You know, with this energy, Pisces, I'm going to read it kind of different because I feel as though um, I feel like you're releasing a lot of memories right now. Almost. There's an interesting change that's happening within you. Let me grab the two cards here. Oh, and I forgot to do the main one that I was going to start with. Wow, the devil again, the shadow and the devil Okay. Ooh, I'm going to read this really different. Okay. Pisces. There you are. <laughs> Maiden of Cups. All right. Um, there's something going on with your emotions, obviously, because Maiden of Cups, this is talking about you. Yeah. You full of creative ideas and dreams. You have positive news and assistance. And I feel like there is a particular... Okay, let me say it this way. You have this ability or something that could be coming up to the surface that it's like this really interesting process that I can see that's happening within you because the tear is saying that you're shedding something. I mean, it could be legit tears, but you know in Harry Potter, like they're like releasing memories there are tears in the memories like that's what's happening to you you are detoxing or kind of like shedding layers from like certain past experiences and it's through your tears or sweating or something about releasing the energy is coming out of your being and it's your shadow like these are shadow experiences and it's almost like Certain things, certain experiences, you came into certain relationships with very particular people that were reflecting your shadow, okay? Because there it is, the devil. There was your shadow self that was being highlighted in another person, even though it could have played out and it was very painful. I mean, I can see that with the tear and then you've got the shaman, which is a healer. So you're like, I feel as though as you get deep into your healing process i mean the shaman is a multitude of things like it's you could be working with a shaman or a healer or you could have come across someone like you might be use, utilizing a lot of like purification processes or you know using herbs to try to to alchemically shift you you know what i mean like trying to connect all the dots because what got highlighted and what came up to the surface for you was shadow that had been hmm, like traumatic moments from your childhood they become like track records okay they're like little movie screens that play in your chemical makeup and then as you go throughout life like your cells your cells are even structured in a really particular way like they have chemicals on each of the receptors and everything about your emotions is chemically programmed in your cells depending on the foods that you ingest and depending on everything chemically that's in your environment like all of it is this hologa holographic makeup of you and so everything that comes out in some way is going to highlight the frequency that you are on i mean there are multiple types of soulmates i would say like when it comes to people in relationships that we come in contact with but this one in specific that it's talking about is one that was a projection of your own shadow. So now that you saw something play out, it could have been recently, like you could have someone, it's like something inside of you isn't at its full power, 
like it's full light. So you could be using a lot of different techniques right now to try to alchemically shift that and to come into a higher vibration in a bunch of particular ways. And I feel as though as that happens, God, there's so much I'm getting. It's like the more that you're releasing something from your body, the more that a gift is coming up to the surface. Okay, so this made in a cups, it could be just your intuition or it could be that a creative idea or a dream is starting to come up and that could be like pushing you more and more to do something significant, to make something happen or to push the process along because something here is like coming up from the shadows, coming up from everything that you're doing. like. So this relationship might have been the thing that kind of highlighted where you could have done more healing, of course. Isn't that what the majority of relationships are about? But you have been getting like a really interesting glimpse into your shadow. And then it's almost like any negative perception that you have of other people. It's just, again, like kind of a highlight of your own shadow. Like you're, if you're thinking negative things about people, it's kind of highlighting maybe negative things that you think about yourself. It's just like all this two shadow cards. That's why I'm wondering if you're kind of um, caught up with someone else's shadow, whether they're in your experience or not. It's like you're still kind of alchemizing that part of yourself and moving past whatever happened there. And I want to say, okay, very first card out, we have the Ten of Wands. Yeah, yeah, you're definitely releasing something that you've been carrying. It's some type of a burden. Six of Pentacles, this could be something about you, you either gave to a situation too much or you could have like be carrying a burden that you owe someone something. You know, it's a lot of like transactional type of stuff with the Six of Pentacles, that even give and take. Oh, yeah, you have the world card. Yeah, well, that's awesome. So that's telling me that this, this pretty much healing process that you are going through, it's pretty freaking close to completing. Probably because of all this stuff that you're doing, like the shamanistic stuff, and that could be something that you're diving into over the next week. It looks like you're about to release something really big, and yeah, love the King of Swords coming in, because it feels like, um, hold on, let me grab the rest of the cards, because this is getting interesting. Okay, we have the King of Pentacles in the past. Interesting that it's kind of based around pentacles like i wonder if you had been dependent a bit on someone financially and or maybe this king of pentacles had provided for you in some way either home like it's like you hadn't completely stepped into your power in that way so that could be something that you're working on right now is because these are king energies so this almost feels like Five of Wands, yeah, there is the conflict. So this conflict, that this could have been competition or jealousy. It feels like what's going to happen, Pisces, is there could be these big realizations that are happening for you. Holy freaking kings. Okay. So there's the third king, the king of cups. Okay. Oh, good. I love that as the outcome. I think there was one more that flipped. No. All right. Okay, so it's pretty slow and steady for you. I feel like Knight of Pentacles, there you are having to kind of, it feels like right now you're in some type of mode, especially over this next week, where you will, it'll take quite a bit of effort on your end to continue to do stuff. You know what I mean? Like you're, you're maybe still setting things up in your, tangible reality and in that process you might see some conflict that comes up because this this conflict that comes up around you it's it might be like a reflection of your own frequency in some ways just if you're feeling challenged or frustrated or like that you're having to really be patient because you're not exactly where you want to be because something over here says that you're not quite where you want to be monetarily like maybe in 
in your home status or where you make money like you're you're working on like definitely some small little detailed things and I feel like in the process there's actually something here that feels a bit uncomfortable that's actually pushing you okay so even though this might feel like challenging or or you want to get away from the conflict in a really beneficial way it's going to help you to like push it's going to push your energy because if you were to just jump into something right now pisces if you were to like run away from this conflict wherever you run to is going to be a reflection of that so pretty much spirit or the universe is kind of having you work with like oh shiz this is what i'm getting okay so let me show you these cards really quick because in your mind which is perfect because we have swords you have the seven of swords and the four of swords okay so there's like a lot of energy going on in your mind where i feel as though i almost feel like in your mind you're you're feeling like you need to sneak away from the conflict that's what it's kind of looking like because it feels like there's conflict here in your environment somehow i don't know what this is if this is work environment or family or it just feels like there's either some competition or something around you in your environment and your final outcome is the ace of wands which is really good it tells me that there is something really positive that's going to be coming in it's like a new creative thing or a passion that you're going to be taking action on okay also I feel like over this next week, you guys might have like a new person. Actually, we got this last week for you that there's someone excited to start things up with you. I feel like this person is making some type of an entrance, but it's also because you Pisces, like when you activate some type of creativity or passion within yourself, someone that is somehow entangled with your energy, either they've been like keeping track of you on social media or there you work with them or you've just been in touch with them in some way in your life they will feel a shift within you because your passion is going to be like it's like you're going to turn on that switch all of a sudden once you're deep in your creative thing that kind of gets you in the zone all of a sudden someone's going to be feeling your emotions churning and it might ignite someone passionately like someone that wants to be passionate with you do you know what i mean because they're like feeling very compelled by your energy so it feels like that person might be coming in but it's like I don't know i almost want to say don't deceive yourself you know especially about your healing process because four of swords is that you're in in this healing mode it feels like you're like right on the precipice of closing out that chapter but don't deceive yourself by thinking you are done especially when you feel this ignition happen when you're in the midst of doing something creative and passion and it lights you up i'm telling you someone is going to feel really drawn to you and they're going to want to take action towards you passionately because that energy is freaking delicious okay i'm telling you it's like it's very enticing and people crave to be near it People crave creativity, like, and so also be cautious of people that want to take that energy from you. You know, you want to like put up some, maybe some boundaries, but this is definitely kind of like you might be shifting environments or it really depends because I can see here you want to let go of a burden, but it feels like when you do, when you move out of this conflict, you will, it might require a little bit more effort on your end. Like say that you do move into some type of new energy that allows you some type of peace and rest it might require even more of you finding a way to motivate yourself and to push yourself to get things going because over here you had a, a something that was pushing you to do that and then it feels like when this environment comes to completion because you have two completion cards it will require a little bit more effort on your end or hard work or like finishing out things for you to make something happen but it feels i love this ace of wands coming out that feels like something really positive that's going to be opening up there so let's grab the door 
Let's see. Pie side. Yeah, I almost, well, I do want to grab that one because I feel like, because I'm getting this stuff about keeping, definitely keeping your healing to yourself. Do you know what I mean? Um, and this is the door opening, silent skill. I challenge you to unpack your mind in meditation's grace. The soul can unwind. Yes, meditation, but also I want to say like, especially over this next week, keep things silent, you know, keep your healing silent, um, kind of keep it all to yourself because I also feel like you're building something quietly, like you're doing something or making preparations. It feels like someone here is going to be affected by that, but three kings though, I'm definitely going to dive into that in the extended. So Pisces, if you want to join me in the extended, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link, and I'll see you over there. But Pisces, if this is where we leave things, I'm sending you guys so much love. Wishing you all the very best, and I'll see you in your next reading. Take care.